Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave and I'm back with more reactions with an ex super happy to bring you some more of this Tokyo Revengers. We're now on episode 18, I believe, which is, uh, let me, let me double check, uh, that would be open fire. And uh, we realized last time that, I guess we didn't realize, Takamichi realized that uh, Kasaki is behind everything, that Valhalla is Mikey's gang, which we did learn. Although it's kind of groomed for him by Kasaki, I guess. I don't know. And we still have a lot to learn about the relationship behind and between Kasaki and Mikey and why he's so obsessed with him, etc. But I am interested to see how this all comes about from this situation. So let's go ahead and take a take a watch and see exactly what happens. I, I think my theory is that uh, obviously uh, Mikey ends up killing Ka Kazutora. Uh getting revenge for his brother and i'm guessing that in helping him kasaki kind of gains a place of trust and power in the organization as well as power over mikey himself but let's check it out and see i don't want to spend too long talking about what could or couldn't be as always remember to support the original content creator because if we don't support them they will make more great content blah, 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 content for us to watch so remember to head on over to crunchyroll check out the anime go check out the manga wherever it is published and we will do the same. And if you enjoy watching us, you know, as always, come and check us stuff out. Also, big shout out to our patrons uh, who support us. Uh, it's thanks to you that we continue to do episodes and stuff like this every week. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Yep, killing Kazutura. Which I don't give a two shits about. Oh, I almost forgot to move this. <laughs> because he never got caught. Kasaki prepared a patsy. And then he fell into darkness. Yeah, we all knew that. Why? <laughs> Why? Oh, Baji gets killed too, huh? That would explain some of it. Once again, Baji is supposed to be on the flip side. He has the body of like a fucking drug addict in that scene. <laughs> really? Everybody thinks this. Why? I just never get that. Why do you think that anybody you know isn't quite capable of killing someone? I like how they're addressing it. Well, crying's not gonna do it. This is not one of those times. She got him one too. It's just a matching set. Yeah, I figured we were going through this when we got back. I get it. Would you fuck this up anyway? Yeez. Not for this one, but just in general. <laughs> Oh, wow, we skipped right to it. I was wondering if we were going to skip to it or just kind of 
But yeah, we went right there. And they haven't gotten shit done in the meantime, most likely. Wait, why is he still all fucked up? Did he get that fucked up? I guess he did fuck him up real bad. But, I don't know. He didn't look like he healed at all. Oh, hey, it's Baji. See, so maybe he is with them and then Kasaki kills him and makes it look like it was Kazutora. You don't really believe that. He doesn't really believe that, right? Come on. I mean, it's cute, but we all know there's like three people probably in the series we're going to see to fight this guy. Oh shit, that means there's no change in it. That mean he really didn't before either. All right, so this is all going to be lead up to the fight, which will be next episode. We might get the start of this fight, but I doubt it so heavily. This uh, this seems creepy. <laughs> Perpetual smile, and then there's this douche nozzle. I don't even like the look of him. Then he looks like a guy I wouldn't trust off bat anyway. See, that's what makes me think it's Kasaki that ends up killing Baji, really, or having him killed. He's just in shock. He may just really be, he may have zero history with Mikey and just absolutely be fascinated with him. He's a pretty fascinating dude. All right, we've still got some time on this episode. Yeah, I was going to say, what's going down, baby? This is, uh... Yeah, this is, uh... Yeah, I was going to say... There's no such thing. In a street fight, there are no fucking referees. Stuck. There's no mediating group. If we could mediate our problems, there wouldn't be gang fights. They do have some interesting character designs, though, for the hair color stuff, bro. That shit looks cool as fuck for those Haitani brothers. Again, immediately all that guy's dudes would have already jumped in to fight that dude's whole gang. Yeah. This is, like, once again, it wouldn't have gone that, but by doing that, he all the guys that was with him would have immediately just attacked his gang. In addition to Toman. They would have got shit stomped for that. In fact, most of the people probably would have joined in just for the fuck of it. It wouldn't have been be a question... Well, we already know that you're the one who dies from this, so. And once again, this is already a rule fight, or else they'd all have weapons and shit in their hands. Unless they're trying to avoid jail or something, I guess. But yeah, you'd have weapons, all kinds of shit. We used to bring weapons to fights. I had machetes and all kinds of shit in the back of the car. Just, just in case, for that exact reason. <laughs> then that's in addition to any other firearms anybody would have brought that's just melee weapons but uh i mean i do like that they went back to it but the, the, the whole 
officiated gang fight shit that happens in a gang not between gangs most of the time not unless they're sub gangs that belong to bigger families or a single bigger organization they're fighting right with or under otherwise that shit don't happen but as usual pretty good i do feel this was more of a joining episode kind of connecting us from one piece of the story to the next piece of the story so it didn't have as much content as some of the other uh episodes have had despite this it still had some very exciting moments uh i think it was supposed to be very emotionally packed but because a lot of it was kind of repacked emotions from previous encounters right like yes i'm sad takamichi has to keep thinking about her being dead and seeing her die and her thing but it's that's the same thing we've he's been sad about that it's continuous okay all right i cannot feel the impact of that multiple times right if especially if it's not permanent right we, we're under the assumption and proven assumption now that he can change the past and therefore save her so it, it's one of those things where it's like all right i get it and it's okay to like press it but the way they do it is Reminds me of, like, how they were doing it in One Piece uh, the last week with uh, Otama being sad about and happy about uh, Oshiruko. You know what I mean? Yes, it is, but I can't feel the impact of that more than a couple times before it loses its total wear. You know what I mean? It's no longer impactful. But that's just my opinion. Tell me what you guys think. Let me know if you enjoyed the episode, what you thought of the story, the characters, their development... As well as the art and stuff. I know I don't really talk about that or comment on that a lot. Because I don't give a fucking shit. But if you do, tell me what was cool and what wasn't. And I'll see. I guess if I agree. I don't, I don't know. I'm not an art critic. Okay. Uh, as always, remember to support the original content creator. Because without them, we do not get this amazing piece of content. Period. And, you know, finally, if you liked watching, remember to like, comment, subscribe maybe. Hit the bell if you want to get updates on all the stuff that we release. And if you wanted to see this... In its full glory with all the audio, all the video, no cuts or overlays, remember to check out our Patreon where you can see it up to a week early for as low as a dollar a month. Thanks, guys, and as always, I'll catch you next time on Reactions with the next Tokyo Revengers.